Hello Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. We have There's Something Better. So there's something better out there for you. We'll see what the angels are saying in relation to this. We have Raise Your Vibration. Now when Spirit's talking about raising your vibration, you're in a very positive place. If you're very positive, that helps you. It also helps to be in around people that are supportive of you and in good environments. So it might be that you need to move away from certain environments or certain people to help raise your vibration, to go towards something better and listen deeply. So what Spirit's saying is listen to your intuition. This is about what you're feeling, sensing um, around you, whether it be with people, environments or situations here. Your intuition never lets you down. So listen to your gut feeling on something here. And it's all about raising our vibration here and going towards something better for your future. So let's see what this is about. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Four of Swords, the Three of Hearts, Three of Hearts, Three of Swords, sorry, the overall energy is the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Strength card. Beautiful Leo energy there. Now, what we've got here is we've got heartaches and disappointments. Now, it can be that there's something, this could be in a romantic sense, but it doesn't have to be. It could be anything that's you're feeling disappointed and that's causing you heartfelt disappointment. So it could be within your relationships, it could be your environments. Now, there's a storm in the background here and storms pass. So this is a very temporary energy. We heal from these things and we're going to need to raise our vibration here and come away from disappointments, environments of people that are causing us this kind of hurt. Now, what's the, what Spirit's saying here is listen to your intuition over this uh, and you'll, it'll help you, guide you forward. Because you're going through challenges, there's no doubt about this. Now, this is challenges where you're learning lessons, you're gaining knowledge here. He's battle weary, he's been through the wars, but he survived all this cancer, so you've done really, really well. And everything that you go through that's causing you upset, we're always learning. When we're learning what we don't want, we're learning what we do want. Now, this will pass. And what they're saying is if you just keep going that wee bit longer, you're going to bring your burdens to an end. Your challenges will end because you're nearly at the 10. So they're saying don't give up here before the miracle happens because there is definitely something better for you coming along. Now, this could be that you might need to, I'm just going to take these three cards together here. You might need to review things. You might want to recover. There's a recovery type energy here, taking time out to sit back. You could be pampering yourself, recovering from an illness or recovering from this heart uh, felt disappointment that you're having. Now, it always does well to take a healing time to think about how we want to go forward after being through challenges. So this is sort of mental energy and it's about taking time out to review things and getting clarity where's towards where we want to go how we're going to proceed now because what spirit's wanting you to do is they're wanting you to get brand new beginnings and clarity now one way of doing that is to listen to your intuition definitely listen to your intuition it does not let you down so what you're feeling sensing or thinking connect in with yourself the answers are always within you what's your gut feeling about this now this could also be you communicating about how you want to go forward. Now, when you're moving away from these disappointing people, situations or events, you're automatically going to raise your vibration and you're going to go towards something better because it's the law of attraction we're talking about here. So like I say, moving away from this will help put your challenges to an end. You'll start to see the way forward. There could be information coming towards you or some sort of communication that Spirit could bring in here that's going to help enlighten you and help you with your decisions to go towards uh, more wholesome situations for yourself here. Now, this could be information that comes from a professional person. It could be a lawyer or a doctor or an accountant, somebody who's got a lot of knowledge, somebody who's very intellectual. So a prof professional person could bring in you some information and this is going to lead to on to better things here. This could also be if you've connected in with yourself here, it could be you starting to gain the clarity 
through reviewing things, listening to your intuition, you're going to gain clarity and you could be communicating how you want to go forward. If this is somebody communicating something to you, <coughs> excuse me, this could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. But whatever this is, you're going to get clarity and you're going to move on to something better in your future. Spirit is helping you. There's brand new beginnings. Aces are brand new beginnings in clarity and you can see that you're going to be triumphant here. You're going to come out victorious uh, through the clarity that you're going to gain. Now, this has also been about being a wee bit patient. And I did say you might have to persevere a wee bit, just that wee bit longer. It's about having patience and nurturing things. Now, this could be in any area of your life that we're talking about where there's disappointments, where we're, spirits want us to raise our vibration, move towards better situations and people and environments. Now, what happens is when you get the clarity and you move towards that, you start to decide, you, you learn where you want to invest your time. So it's about going towards, this could be any of your life we're talking about. It could be your work life, your finances, your home life or your relationships. And it's about understanding that we need to go towards situations here that are not disappointing us or letting us down or causing us heartache. We want to be going into situations where we can nurture things and things will grow. Now, this could be, for example, that you've had disappointments with money and you need to speak to somebody here. It could be a financial advisor. You're getting advice and you're working on a plan. And through time, you'll see improvements in your finances. It could be as well if you've been disappointed and not got promotion or a wage rise. If you keep going or you nurture your situation here and learn new skills and you're patient, something will break for you. There's some kind of communication coming forward. Because you didn't get the promotion or wage rise this time, it doesn't mean to say that there isn't, it's not going to come. It means there's something better out there for you. Now, you might decide as well that you want to take your talent somewhere else, your skills somewhere else. You want to invest in something. But we have to be investing in things and situations and environments where we know that we can prosper and our pentacles can grow. And when we do that, we come towards, we come into this beautiful Queen, uh, King of Cups energy. Now, he's emotionally stable here. He's sitting back. He's comfortable. He's one with everything that's going around about him. Now, we've got two kings on the table. So we've got the clarity coming in or the information coming in. We've got just persevering that wee bit longer, waiting on this coming, this happening. And we're going towards emotional stability. So a very happy place. You're going to feel at one with yourself and your relationships. And you're going to be nurturing your pentacles here in whatever area of life it might be. And through time, you will see growth. So there's a lot of happiness coming in the future. But listen to your intuition as well. And when we're making decisions about and gaining clarity, it's about our strength and our courage to go forward. Now, it's leaving all our disappointments behind here. Now, this kind of strength only comes after time of challenge because we're learning here through everything we've been through, really how strong we are. You've survived everything up till now, Cancer. You've gained strength. You've gained knowledge. She is so confident she feels she could tame a lion. So being courageous, having the strength to, to go forward now, Think about what it is you want, going towards something better after times of disappointment, having the courage to go forward. Because if you do this, there's going to be a lot of happiness. You're going to want to celebrate with fam family and friends and people, like I say, that have got your back here. So if you look at this here, it's about gaining clarity or information coming in. It's about moving on from disappointments of your past that have upset you. And it's about going towards celebrating. Uh, because you're understanding here, after reviewing things, the places, the environments and the people that you need to put your efforts into. And it's about gathering and having patience and gathering knowledge to go forward. Okay, I will just take a couple of divine direction messages here for you. Oh. You need more flexibility in your life. Allow yourself to go with the flow. Absolutely. And we have here goals. It is time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go after them. Yes, it, deciding where you're going to invest your time and your efforts. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.